Bright mid is Alexi Sanchez, which was also a great, uh, great pull there in a pack for us. And uh, Klitschy on the left, uh, Dubuki on the right, Courtois, also an awesome pull for us in keep uh, at 86 rated. And then we have Rojo and Daily Blind in the CDM position. So not a bad team, not a bad team at all. So we're just going to jump right in. I really, I'd only played a couple games on the demo, so this could be interesting to see uh, see what the adjustment is like and and kind of what we need to do uh, in FIFA 15 as opposed to FIFA 14. So coming up, the first thing we have is a Barbo and uh, also an M4 Menez, uh, which that M4 card, the goal he scored was just ridiculous. It was pretty cool to see, uh, but. So we were going to go into this game and hopefully, hopefully, we'll come out with a victory and see what we can do. We're going to get it started uh, pretty early here. Second minute, we get a great shot opportunity from Sanchez. He can't get it to go in. And then the header, I just couldn't get it to go. And that was Sigurdsson, I believe. Sigurdsson, I don't really know how to pronounce the name. Uh, but then you can see there my opponent, and this was... Uh, pretty much his plan of attack, and he would just uh, over the top or ground through past the Barbo and take shots with it, and it was it was okay. I mean, it, it didn't seem completely overpowered. I will say that I I really believe as we get lucky there from a corner, I, I believe pace is going to have a lot to do with this game again. And you can see here Cavani. He just runs over me, says, excuse me, goes in, but Courtois with a great save. And that was an 81st minute, so, I mean, just not a lot going on. I love the passing mechanics, and my opponent uses it to his advantage and takes a 1-0 lead in the 90th minute, which we all love. 45th and 90th goal. So, uh, I, I just couldn't really get anything going in this game, and, and I, I would lose it 1-0. And you'll see in the stats, I mean, the game could have gone either way. Uh, I think both of us had our opportunities, and we were just, uh, you know, it's tough. It's definitely tough to get anything going. So uh, there goes our dream of an undefeated FIFA 15. Just kidding. I really didn't think it was going to happen. Um, but we're going to go right into a second game. Like, okay, I can't, can't lose like that. But... Um, you know, looking at the game and the game mechanics, I, I really like it. I really do. I think that, um, you know, some of the things that, that bothered everyone in, in the past couple seasons, you know, like the auto-contain button, um, hopefully that kind of goes away. I didn't see either of these opponents really using it. Um, I, I don't really use it, so I, I couldn't tell you whether it's effective or not, but um, for the most part, you can rarely get through two games without seeing someone using it. So hopefully that's kind of gone away. Um, and the, you know, dribbling is going to be pretty important this year. And you can see here, uh, blind almost with a nice, nice goal there. But it was just unable to get it in. And then we'll get a pretty decent shot here uh, from a corner. But the keeper comes out and saves it. And that was another thing. Um, that I really like this year. It looks like the keepers are very aggressive. And Sturridge is going to start us off in FIFA 15 with our first official goal with a nice put away there. Uh, but back to the keepers, it seems like they definitely are more aggressive uh, coming out on corners and so forth, which will obviously cut down uh, on the OP crosses and everything that we all had to deal with last year. So uh, hopefully that will, uh, that will remain the same. But here, right away, my opponent... Comes right back down, and he's able to put one away to even it up at one apiece. And it was really frustrating because I was just dominating this game. Uh, but you can see, I mean, 10 shots, but only four on target. So I really kept overshooting everything. And here, Alexi Sanchez in the 55th minute. Another decent opportunity. Uh, and then we get a great steal here. And here's Cazorla. Boom. No, nothing. And that's what most of my shots were doing. I was just... They were just going wide. I don't know. I was just uh, aiming too much uh, to the outside, whatever the case may be. But uh, they were all just going wide. But here Sturz picks it up in the 65th minute. A nice roulette around two defenders. Nutbegs a third past the keeper to put us up to one. And that is how that game would end. And we are able to hang on for the victory. But that was a really nice goal from Sturridge. Two goals from Daniel Sturridge. 
uh, to give us our first victory in FIFA 15. And I'm really looking forward to this year, guys. I think it's going to be a fantastic game. And we just kind of have to wait and see how everything plays out. Doesn't look like anything is, is necessarily OP. But again, uh, you know, I've played like two games here and, and maybe three on the demo. So I really can't give you an accurate judgment of what everything's going to be just yet. But I can say in the first couple games, I did enjoy it. And I'll just kind of show you the end game here, kind of new menus and new looks. Uh, but guys, again, if you enjoyed the video, please remember to drop a like, please comment, please subscribe. I will have daily FIFA 15 content for you guys, and I will talk to you next time. Have a good one. Higher rated players, I would say really anything probably 84 or above, you want to hold on to them. You don't want to sell them yet. Wait till the game drops. Uh, give it some time so everybody else can open some packs and get some coins, and then you'll be able to sell them and make some pretty good coins to get your team started so as we're going i think we opened about 16,000 fifa points worth of packs 